Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. I'm here in Times Square in New York City. It's the heart of the Big Apple. 2011 is going to be a very exciting and challenging year, and there's no better place to tell you about it than from right here in Times Square where the new year begins. Aquarius, Jupiter, and Uranus, that's your ruling planet, is moving down the superhighway through your third house. So travel, new ideas, new ways of thinking, the ability to communicate is all enhanced. Make sure you take opportunities to express yourself in new ways. If you ever wanted to write a book, now is the time to do it. If you ever wanted to speak your mind, it's time to do that too. Just be a little careful what you say. And particularly, like in every highway situation, there's a construction zone. Well, yours happens in March when Saturn is in opposition to Jupiter. Now, this comes from the ninth house, and the ninth house is the house of beliefs and people at a distance from you. So make sure you know what you believe, make sure you know what other people believe, and make sure you respect the beliefs of other people. You don't have to agree with them, but please, if you want them to respect you, you must respect them. And also, prepare, because some new responsibilities may be coming your way in the future. Jupiter will enter Taurus in June, and this can bring opportunities for an addition to the family. Maybe you're going to buy a new house, or perhaps even invest in property. Might be a good idea. Wow! Neptune is entering your second house for the first time in 165 years. And you don't look a day over 99. Well, at least I don't. Now, this is a time for you to rethink your material values. What is materialistic? What is spiritual? You have to rethink this. You have to know what's, what's spiritual. What is real? Is the material real? Is the spiritual real? How can you blend them together? Also, creativity can bring financial rewards. Now, one warning, Uranus and Pluto are going to be squared. So you have to look at your beliefs. Are they the product of propaganda? Or have you developed your own set of beliefs? Very important that you take the time to realize why you believe the things that you do. And if you need to change some beliefs, this is a great time to do it. Meditate, pray, practice some yoga, and have a great year. This prediction was for your general sun sign. Now, if you want to get better information that's based on your time, date, and place of birth, go to my website, professorastrology.com, and go to the personal services page, and you can order a chart for your sign for the year that is much more accurate and much more helpful for you. And remember, we're here in the Big Apple in the Great White Way, and I hope you have a fabulous new year. Thank you.